In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a 3D test in Photoshop and more specifically, how you can use this 3D test in your flyers, especially church flyers. And this is coming up. Hello everybody, it's Innocent here and welcome to the channel. Over here, we do Photoshop tutorials and tips like this. So if that's something that sounds like you're interested, consider subscribing so i've made a couple of tutorials using 3d and in those videos i couldn't actually show you the step-by-step -step procedure to do the whole 3d test so in this video i'm going to show you how to do that and how you can apply it in your flyers like what we have over here so this is one of my recent projects that i worked on and i made use of this 3d test effect that looks very nice so I'm going to show you how to get something like this in your flyers. Let's get into the video. Now let's start with the basics of creating like a normal 3D test. You can use this to create something like a name or create something for your brand that you can use on social media. So I'm going to create a new document of 1920 by 1080 and we can easily go ahead and pick the test tool to start creating our test. So over here, I'm going to write something like worship so something like this quite very easy and then i'm going to make sure that i center all of it now it is just the normal test tool that we are using and of course you can use any font that you you, you want this particular font is called i'll leave the link in the description now after you're done with this you go ahead and then you right click on the layer here you head over to the very bottom and then you're going to choose the new 3d extrusion mind you i'm using photoshop 2021 but this should work with any version now let me make this clear before we proceed sometimes your 3d extrusion might be grayed out like what we have for the copy layer style and paste layer style here because of some few reasons one which is mostly common is that your graphics card is not enough for 3d extrusion or your graphics card is not updated so in that case what you can do is you can go to device manager so you can just type in device manager over here and then you can locate your drivers and then you can update your graphics card but all things being equal it should be working out provided your graphics card is enough and then you head over to new 3d extrusion here and then you wait for it to open in a new 3d panel for you so the first thing is that you can actually change the color of your test right from the test that you set or when you get into the 3d extrusion here you can change it it is very simple now once you get here the first thing that you want to focus on is you want to focus on this particular one here that is the main test the worship test that is the main one and then when you click on top here you should be able to see the properties so when i click on top of this again i'm going to actually see the main test now you see that the test color shows over here so i can go ahead and click on that and i can give it any color if you don't want to find yourself in any trouble you can actually set the color in the test that you typed before you click on the new 3d extrusion so over here you can give it any color of your choice so something like this and then you can go ahead and click ok any color at all now there are a couple of things that we can explore the first one is the extrusion depth this is going to actually determine how far the 3d is going to go so something like this so you can see it's gonna come forward like this or if you want it to go as far as this one you can see something like this okay but we don't want it that far so something like this is okay now when you click on it again you should see the shape preset over here when you click on it you're going to be able to give it different type of presets so you see that for any presets that you pick it is going to give you a different type so this was the first one that i was actually using any one of them comes with a different preset so you can go ahead and play with all of them and see what works best for you some of them can be so crazy of course so for instance like this one is going to give you something very crazy okay so let's try and go and pick something like this one or this okay this one is the one that i was using and for any one of them that you pick you can of course go ahead 
and increase or decrease the extrusion depth that you have now you realize that we have the main foreground which is this particular test and then if i click over here it samples a different color or the background the extrusion so this is the main test this is the foreground test that we are using and when you click over here it gives you the background for the next set of properties we can see that we have the glow the metallic the roughness the height you can set all of them you can take your time to play along with all of them it is of course going to give you a different set of thing that you want to have the next thing i want to talk about is this particular metallic material that you can apply on the 3d for instance i think this color is really not giving me the vibes that i want this should look good now when you click on it you can apply a material on top of it so you realize from here that when i put the keza on here it is flat like very simple and plain but when i go to the material over here and i apply something like this one on it you realize that there will be a kind of material on top of it so some kind of like a wooden thing let's go ahead and apply something way different so something like this so it is going to give it like an, a different look and it is not actually going to look very flat or plain and when you go to the settings over here you can of course add a new material so you can google up some of the materials that you want to use and then you can add them over here but if you don't want it and you want it as plain as it was you just go ahead and then you can undo it now back to the 3d over here so this one is going to give you the 3d and then once you get to the bottom here you're going to see this add new light source so you're going to add a new light source to this so you can left click on the new infinite light over here and then you can determine where the light should be for you now we don't want to rotate it like this of course but definitely this was one thing that i was going to talk about you can rotate your test anyhow you want to you want it to be like so you don't want it to be like straight as it was like this you can use the rotation over here once you have this rotation you can just use it to rotate it anyhow that you want it to be but we are focusing on the light source so once you have the new infinite light source over here you can determine or you can give the direction where the light should be so you realize that currently it is facing the right side i can bring it to the left side or at the bottom so you can direct the shadows where it's supposed to go but this isn't anything like a big deal that we need to stress over and just like i was talking about rotating it anyhow you want it you can actually rotate it to the left right or you can rotate it on the x axis so you see you can have something like this and then you can rotate it to something like this so these are some of the basic features that you can apply to your 3d test okay so after you've taken time to make all the changes or all the apply all the effects that you want on this one the next thing you need to do is you need to render the scene so in order to do that you head over straight to the 3d over here you see render and then you are going to left click on that now the render is going to take a lot of time at least depending on how all the features of your computer so once you left click on it you see that it is going to take its time and then render the whole scene for you so i'll see you on the other side when it is done rendering now this is going to take a lot of time but because of this tutorial i'm just going to stop it right over here and proceed but this is a typical look of how it is going to look like when it is fully rendered so in order to stop it i'm just going to hit on the escape and then it is going to stop rendering at least it's rendered a part of this but if it had finished it's going to look something like this now after you're done with all that you want to do with your 3d test the next thing you do is you head over to the window here and go back to the workspace because it took you to the 3d workspace so we are going back to the essentials that is where we're going to be able to see our layers and then our backgrounds now what we want to do from here is that we can right click on the whole of this one and 
convert it to a smart object so now you see that we have our background and then we have our 3d test so in order to apply it in your flyers or your designs what you're going to do is you're going to remove or close the background here so you turn the eye off and then now you have a separate layer that you can use in your flyers so for instance in my current project so something like this one i can just get rid of this particular test over here go inside the 3d test that we created and then i can drag that onto it as simple as that so something like this and then you can take your time to open it up like that and then you can apply it inside your 3d test now since this is a smart object we can just right click on it and rasterize that and then we will be able to apply or change the color to match the current design or the current test that we are working on this is not really working well for me but of course you can use the hue and saturation to change the colors to match the exact theme of your current project so that is how you basically create a 3d test in a different document and then you bring it inside of your flyer so for the test that i actually used in this one the gilga conference you realize that it is all small letters and that means that for 3d test and i applied a material on this one and i didn't wait for it to fully render that is why you can see all of these here but for a typical file that has been rendered fully rendered you should not see all of these ones so it all takes time and you need to give it a lot of time but that's basically it that's how you create a 3d test for your project especially flyers and church flyers in photoshop a quick reminder that this after you converted it into a smart object is not editable so you cannot directly edit this in photoshop if you want to you might probably have to actually go all over again or you need to create an action such that you should be able to repeat the same steps that you took in creating this particular 3d test but of course that will be pretty much it for this video i hope you learned something from it if you did let me know in the comment section and thank you so much for sticking around to watch this video i'll see you guys in the next video it's innocent here and bye